know that old saying, eat fish to live longer, eat shellfish to love longer. So, I've never heard that. Well, you might have to start hanging out with me more often. Yeah. <laughs> And they call this long raking. Let's do it. Throw this in. All right. Like pump it, kind of? Yeah, you want to try to kind of feel it with your arms, what it's doing. You can hear it. Oh, yeah. There's some rocks down here, some shells. How do you know when to pull it up? When it's You can't full. breathe anymore. When you... <laughs> this is kind of like the best arm workout ever. You want to try to attempt to pick it up or not? OK, how do I do that? It's like cannon for gold. Look at that. <laughs> oh my Walk god, up. you got a lot. Gosh, I caught a crab. And a clam. I got a crab. <laughs> See ya. Oh my gosh, I got a big one. Clamming, what do I Now that I've got my hands full, how am I going to eat these? Rumor has it a former Top Chef contestant runs a restaurant over at the Surf Lodge. So this dish is super easy. It's one of the top sellers here at the, at the Surf Lodge. Okay. First thing, a okay. little bit of olive oil, got right? It. And when, usually when I cook any kind of seafood, I like to do the perfect blend between butter and olive oil. How'd you come up with this recipe? I like things a little spicy. I love ginger. I love fresh garlic. That's just all, in my mind, these are all things that go with the Thank sounds you. of summer. So, see the butter's obviously burning yep. right there. That's all good. That's what you want. Yep. You're going to take a little bit of your ginger. Yes. Your lemongrass? Is that garlic? Love. Good. So now that that's getting nice and golden brown, we're going to add our Thai chili peppers. Now depending on how spicy you like things or how spicy you don't, what I do when I do it for the restaurant is I put the Thai chilies in the, in the aromatics with the butter and the oil and let them kind of um, yeah, bloom or infuse. A little red onion for a little bite. Now we're going to add our clam. Clams this size are going to take a pretty good minute. This might take like five, six minutes of constant steam. We're going to take our white wine and deglaze. Then you can take your tongs, scrape it, scrape it off, and that's all the love. Oh, that so, good. so now we go with a little bit of Chinese mustard powder. Okay. And what I do is, when I put this in, I pull the, the Thai chilies out. Okay. Right. So like kind of holding in the flavor. Yeah, exactly. And then, this is one of the key ingredients. All this is is just like a low sodium clam broth. So these guys got to steam for a little bit. Okay. Um, and it's always good to just kind of, you know, keep you can cover them, but just keep an eye on them. The final touches, where we're going to mount it with a little bit more butter at the end just to have that, that nice buttery, clammy, lemony butter. flavor. This is fresh parsley. I throw into the last second. And this is kind of a little twist that I do. Like growing up in South Carolina, we used to do clam bakes all the time. We used to do them on Sundays a lot, and on Sundays, you know, the drink that you drink on Sundays is Bloody Mary. And Worcestershire sauce is obviously one of the main components of the Bloody Mary. So I started incorporating it into my clam. I added my Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of butter. It smells so good. Right? Amazing. Wait to taste it, it's got a lot of flavor. Wow. Well, so good. Good, right? Oh, it's got a lot of heat on it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna make these at home. Make them at home. There I you. will. Okay, cool. So, Clams.